Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the new build of Windows 10 for Windows 10 Mobile for uh, Windows Insiders. This is build 10581, and there are a huge amount of changes with this. Uh, it's more about bug fixes uh, to, compared to the previous release. The previous release uh, wouldn't install if you have Windows 10 Mobile running already. You had to be running Windows 8.1. That bug has been fixed. So let's see what uh, Microsoft say about this build. Oh, well, they say it's even if you upgraded from Windows 8.1, um, the Lumia 930 icon and 1520 and now have Hey Cortana. Um, that didn't work before when you did the upgrade, but now that works. You can go to Settings Extra in Hey Cortana to turn that on. Um, they say that battery life has been improved, um, and I say so far actually I pretty agree, this is looking a lot better. Um, you can now share photos which you couldn't do before that crash, so if you go into the photo app and uh, view a photo, say this one, and I want to share it, hit the sharing button there, and previous build that would crash, but now you can then choose what you want to share it with, which is, which is good, especially if you use that a lot. Um, they fixed the lock screen bug, uh, video recording has been improved, I don't know if we can actually see if, how that looks. Let's fire up the camera app, and uh, there's no dedicated camera button on there, so I can fire up that one. So let's do a video. I have no SD card in this, so I'm going to do a short video. Um, okay, video's working as, as, as you'd expect, so um, turn around and you'll see where we are. So there, there's video mode, it's been improved. They fixed dual SIM issues and uh, they fixed the Chinese keyboard issue. Uh, during the upgrade process, it did take a while, it kind of went from 0% to 21%, 63%, and then 100%, then to 0%, then to 50%, and then did it. Microsoft do say if you get five minutes of uh, black screen that's normal that's going on the upgrade and if you've had issues with your SD card um, if it shows up garbled names you you can go into the SD card settings and uh, reboot the file and then you should be okay on that um, if you restore the build from if you restore a backup when you go through the setup process you can restore a backup if you restore a backup of a previous image you get the corrupted um, start menu it looks all really weird it's to do with resolution so you need to go to settings personalization and change your background image so other than that I haven't seen any major changes to it really it does feel a little bit faster than the previous build the previous build was a bit on the sluggish side but this does seem to be working okay it's nice and uh, fast now and uh, even on this little 630 so I actually think this is uh, a, a much improved build Maybe the SD cards are an issue, the SD card problem is an issue, but uh, I would say this is almost ready for prime time. This is the upgrade process, a little bit slow, and uh, maybe I'll put this on my uh, 1520 soon. So, can't show any more features than this, but uh, the desktop version actually does have a couple of features all released today, so I'll have a video of that coming up soon. So, more information on our YouTube channel and on the digitalifestyle.com.